Guardians, what is going on, y'all? Your dude Sly here, back at it once again with Destiny 2. So, last time we were checking out how to get the Mita Mini Tool. This time, however, we're taking a look at how to finish the Cryptic Rat King quest. So, once you beat the campaign, world quests will start to drop at every destination. Just like my last video on how to get the Mita Mini Tool, same thing applies here. You start off on Titan, talk to Sloane. She sets you up with a bunch of really cool story-driven quests, and after about three of them, you come to the last one known as Chance and Choices. Once you grab the methane reactor for your buddy Sloan, the quest will drop immediately after. So, to get to the quest, simply beat the story. Go to Titan, talk to Sloan, and then start working on the missions with the blue crown icon. Like I said, the last one is Chance and Choices. Once that's finished, that's when it really starts. So now let's move on to what you actually need to be doing after it's dropped. This is, yet again, another four-step process. If you read the square in your inventory, they give you hints on what to do. So, let's take a look at the first drop and the cryptic puzzle within. Step 1. The Rat King's crew runs to and fro. Good girls and boys, nowhere to go. Pick up your toys and darn your socks. On errands of woe, on errands we walk. So, where on destinations do you walk around and do errands of woe? That's patrols. Pretty simple. You have to be in a fire team with at least one other person. You cannot do this solo. The other person does not have to be in a quest either. Just as long as you're in a fire team, you're good to go. So at first, do patrols. Simply knock out three of them and then you're done. Moving on to step two, public events. Alright, so after step one is complete, you will get another drop which continues the quest. And step two reads this. The Rat King's crew goes arm in arm to fight as one to do no harm. So have your fun and run outside, rally the flag and we'll never die. So rally the flag, pretty easy guys. Public events. Now I triggered the heroic versions of these just to be safe. Not entirely sure if they need to be heroic versions, I really don't think so. But my advice is to get heroic versions of the public event every time you do it. Because they get you better rewards. So, after two public events, the next stage will then drop, and it reads, The Rat King's crew goes four and four with good good fights they learn to score. Then three as one, they stand upright, return from past the wall, and wanting more. It <laughs> doesn't really rhyme as good as the others, but what's four on four? That's Crucible. So, go ahead, roll into some Crucible matches, and then after two, win or lose, you're good to go. Also, it doesn't matter if it's between quick play and competitive, both lists will get you where you need to go. Alright, and then after your second Crucible match, the final step will appear, which is to complete the Nightfall. But, it's much, much worse than that. You have to complete the Nightfall with five minutes remaining on the clock. The riddle goes like this. The Rat King's crew stands three as one. They see the Nightfall and fear it none. But watch the clock as you scale the wall, lest five remain. Hope comes for none. Now, I'm working on my Nightfall Guide as we speak, and it'll be out soon, but beating it with five minutes left is absolutely tough. I mean, at least for right now. Everyone is still learning the strike, learning the game, and their weapon, so it's not the best case scenario. For those that don't know the Nightfall, there are new modifiers within Destiny 2. The first one gives you a very small amount of time to beat it. It starts you off with 10 minutes, and every kill adds a few seconds to the clock. So you have to keep killing and keep killing fast in order to have enough time left to do damage to the boss. The other modifier basically amounts to a rotating element burn. Every minute or so, the element changes. It's called a featured element. You'll see it at the bottom left of your screen. Arc, void, and then solar in that order. But there's more to that. Whenever the element is, say, I don't know, for example, solar, you basically have solar burn, as does your enemy, which that means solar burn means more damage whenever you're using a solar-based weapon. But when solar damage is featured, that basically makes void and arc useless at that time. If solar is the current modifier, then arc and void will hardly do any damage at all. I popped my Stormcaller in a group of ads when void was featured, and it only killed three red bars. Didn't even take down the shields of the rest, so needless to say... I died right in the middle of them. So if the featured element is solar and you do not have a solar weapon on you, then do not use an energy weapon at all. Use a kinetic one, even on shields. The normal rules will not apply here. So like I said guys, it is pretty tough. Now I have a really good strategy on how to beat the regular Nightfall, which I'll be putting up here soon. But I'll have to work on a strategy to beat it with 5 minutes left, rather than relying on blind luck. It might be better to wait for another Nightfall to be honest, like rotate a strike around, because this week 1 Nightfall has some really, really slow moving areas, like the cargo elevator, the tank elevator, there's like a door that takes 45 seconds to open. I mean, that slows down your time by a lot, just waiting on things to happen. And anyways, after you beat the Nightfall and you have 5 minutes remaining, you, my good sir or madam, are done. 
the weapon will drop and these type of rewards are dropping above the soft cap so it's like 265 plus and that can help you get ahead for the raid all right y'all so quick recap after the campaign talk to sloan on titan complete the world quest which are the blue icons once you beat the chances and choices mission you will get the rat king quest to drop Step one, patrols with fire team members. You're gonna need at least one person with you for all of the remaining steps. Step two, public events, anywhere, any planet. You do not need to trigger the heroic versions, but like I said, I would always trigger them for a chance at a higher drop. Step three, crucible. Simply complete two crucible matches, win or lose, any playlist, and then step four, complete a nightfall with five minutes remaining. Do this and you will be the blessed owner of the Rat King's coveted weapon. Good luck guys, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Would love to have you here with us at Sly Nation, so subscribe for tons more D2 content. Spank that thumbs up only if you enjoyed yourself, and comment down below if you have any questions, or if you just want to say what's up. I'm out of here, Guardians. As always, an absolute pleasure that you come here for your Destiny 2 news. Feel free to follow me on Twitter or Facebook, Sly Nation, Sly Nation Gaming. Keep those eyes peeled for more D2 content in the very near future, but... Until then, this is your dude Sly, and I'll catch you guys next time.